Hype Podcast, episode 99.4.4. Why are they applauding? This week on The Hype, we reminisce on the last good NBA All-Star weekend back in 2007. Ice Cube has a new three-on-three basketball league, and he's bringing back some big names you're going to want to watch. Plus, we fine-tune the rules for hanging out with new chicks. Don't miss this week's episode of The Hype Podcast. Coming to you live and uncensored, this is the Hype Podcast. I'm Oso Fresh with my co-host, yet to be named. That's me. We talk about everything from new gadgets, gizmos, politics, movies, and music. And our very own personal stories, because you know a motherfucker has to keep it real. Wait, do you used to wear glasses? Yeah. What? Yeah, you used to wear glasses. When? Uh, Not since I've known you. No. Yeah. What the fuck? No, you haven't. I just didn't have them. You have never fucking worn glasses once. Yeah, I wore, I wore glasses. I wore contact lenses. You know? Really? Oh, they were horrible. When? I always needed help getting them in and out. It was horrible. When the fuck did? The, well, you never recruited me for that, so I can't. Yeah, I can't it, say that I ever knew that. Yeah, I mean, even uh, even my ex girlfriend, we'd be, you know, we were always on ins and outs. Okay. Even if we were on outs. Was there a pun intended? Yeah, no, I'm just saying, even if we weren't getting along, she would be nice enough to come help me pull my contacts out and put them back in. <laughs> so, sh- shout out to you for keeping how, me. Uh, how, wait, how long did you have contacts for? A couple years. When I was doing the casino, it was like I'd be at the casino and my contact would fucking pop out. And I'd have like one eye all night. <laughs> Shit would and be fucked a up. A couple years and you never learned to take a minute out. It just didn't work very well for me. What, you have like, my I, I mean, little fat kid fingers? No, like, my, my eye is just like, ah. I mean, my, I got a bitch ass eye. <laughs> my eyes are like, fuck that. I no, you're I not shoving that. anything up in here. I never got that. Like for for example, I still I I don't know if this is actually true. I still have my tonsils, therefore my gag reflex. Like if somebody pukes next to me, Pause. like I fucking I feel like I'm gonna puke, right? And people say that's because of your tonsils. Really? Yeah. I still have my tonsils too. Really? Yeah. If somebody vomits in front of you, are you like, oh? Is that is that something you'd like list on Tinder? Like, yes, <laughs> yes. Ton- tonsils out. Yeah, <laughs> tonsils out only, bitch. <laughs> hey, you know I might as well get this motherfucker started. This is the hype podcast. That is DJ Oh So Fresh. I am the host with no name. We're kicking it with you every single Sunday. Can I turn up those fucking applauds, please? God damn it! Yeah, what is this? What is this mild form of hype podcast applause? I, I don't know. I this don't is know. fucking garbage. Man. We need to do that again. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're far too kind. I I am overwhelmed with your applause. (laughs) (laughs) I saw I saw a meme photo the other day that just you always seen a meme that screamed to me. It's got Jay Z on the like sitting on a couch in a sweatsuit and like his fucking headband and shit. And it's like when the DJ says, "If you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home," and it's just him sitting on the couch. I was like, this this just screams my life right now. I was actually going to blow up the photo and like put it on my wall, but I didn't. Yeah, take my broke ass home. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm already home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. I'm still here, still broke. No, I uh, I actually drove by your house earlier this week. I forgot to tell you this. Uh. I drove by your house and pointed out. I was like, yeah, that's where I do my podcast, bitches. And they were like, where? I was like, I also got a studio out back. And it's got all sorts of cool shit in it. Not that you know where he lives or anything like yeah. that. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Let's yeah. just give out my address on the podcast. <laughs> you, you should. You know, I got. I do have to say this week, I had a couple people mention the podcast. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah. <laughs> Is that that podcast you do? I'm like, oh, you, thanks for paying attention. Well, you saw the you saw the Facebook post I tagged you in, in the middle of the week. No. Oh, uh, there's this new. It's a new group that I'm on. It's Southwest Washington Entertainment Group, mm-hmm. and they post all sorts of funny racist shit and <laughs> like sexist shit and things like that. And I, everybody finds it hilarious. And people that, like, r- still get in the group somehow, and they're like, oh, I'm offended by this. And they're just like, got to go. Like, they boot them out. They, yeah, if, you, if you get offended by shit. Yeah, if, if, they, if you get offended by shit, they kick you out of this fucking group and, like, troll you forever on Facebook. So we're posting a whole bunch of ridiculous shit. And I've been on there for a couple weeks now. So I'm like, eh, I, don't, I don't know the promo etiquette, but fuck it. I'm going to promote my podcast. Did you throw and, it up there? Yeah. So, they, they so I put it up there. You know, I put the disclaimer like, hey, you know, if, if the admins of this group aren't cool with this, I'll take it down. No problem. But uh, I told them all to check out the hype podcast. And I was like, yeah, I do. A, I do a podcast every week with a black guy, blah, blah, blah. And I go through the whole thing. And uh, the first fucking comment was like, why has he got to be a black guy? <laughs> <laughs> 
What the fuck else is he? Yeah, why, does, why does he have to be a man? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, and the next comment was, man, I've never heard of one of those. And so my, so my comment after that was a black guy or a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I, and it just kind of went on from there. So hopefully we have some new likes and some new listeners. And if you guys are listening to our podcast, fuck your life. That's all I got to say. Because if you're listening to this episode and you haven't listened to the other ones, you have no clue what that means. Now you're curious. Now, if you're new to it, it's not fuck you. It's fuck your life. Yeah. And that is a term of endearment. It is. I it am really forever is. giving. Yeah. You know, I, I went through a major panic yesterday because I woke up and, you know, first thing you do, you wake up, you look at your fucking phone. Phone's running slow. I said, oh, fuck it. I'll reset it. <laughs> How'd that work out for you? You know, it, it, it always amazed me that my... I, when I reset, I was getting the blue screen of death on an Apple product. It's, it's always kind of weird. They do that now? It, I guess that version of the operating system did. Wow. So. I uh, Hold on. I got I to gotta take you back. I remember like back in the early 90s, like early 2000s, like that was their mantra. Like, oh, we don't do, we don't fucking do the BSOD. Yeah. Like Windows. Fuck all y'all. It, it is the exact same color. Oh, Jesus. It doesn't say that shit. <laughs> You sh- the blue screen of death was horrible. If you're not familiar with the blue screen of death, fucking get Google. It's one of the most common things. Sorry we are geeking above your level, but the blue screen of death is a major thing. So my my phone comes up with the Apple logo like it's booting. Yeah. yeah. And it just sits there. <laughs> chilling. <laughs> hanging out. Been 10 minutes. It's like, it's like, hold up, hold up. Just fucking hang out. Now, I remember with Blackberries. You had a Blackberry. Yeah, fuck point. yeah. Blackberries took a half hour to boot. That Dude, those things, they had to conjure up fucking satellites and dark magic and all sorts of crazy uh, shit uh, just to boot up. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. So I, I hook it up. I try and find some app to fix it. And they want to charge me 50 bucks. To- <laughs> <laughs> I installed some app. I was like, oh, it's a free app on the store. Cool. Well, you know, what that, you know what that is, right? What? That's Steve Jobs just fucking you. I mean, from his he's, he's definitely box. he's definitely fucking me from the grave. So I had to do a full restore on the fucking phone. <laughs> Last backup <laughs> was in September. So I pull up my phone and it's a bunch of fucking birthday wishes. <laughs> Those are the last text messages on my phone. So thank you for all the kind <laughs> birthday wishes. Well, you Once should again. you should be happy to get them now because every time you get them on your fucking birthday, they're like, yeah, dude. Happy birthday, man. I can't believe Tupac died today. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. So you, you gotta be you, excited you, you, now. Why why do you keep fucking with me about Tupac? Because it's I know it hurts you. So I just it does. I can just continue it to do does. it. It does. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's that's my, my only it's, motivation. It's, it's my day. Yeah. <laughs> well, yesterday, yesterday was your day. I mean, you got all those great birthday wishes. <laughs> all the fuck over again. Yeah, all over again. You got to enjoy it yesterday. I I think. And this is just me. I think okay. since you have a birthday going into fall, that you should just celebrate it during spring. You know, I, I, in school, I like to celebrate the birthday of my conception. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> my birthday's coming up. <laughs> what was it, March, or was it in February? No, it was in uh, December. No, as I, I, I would do it in early January. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I am the decider. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I decide when well, I got to be conceived. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't try and track down and be like, hey, mom, when did the rubber break? <laughs> <laughs> do you think women do that? Go through like an interview process, like in their mind, they're just like, you know, I'd be okay if that kind of broke. Like they just find a dude and they're just like, oh, I'd be okay with that. I always thought they decided that like real early. <laughs> like your potential with the woman is decided within seconds. Well, sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they say, what, I mean, it's like 10 seconds. They yeah, know I mean, there's a total now. fuck, kill, marry thing going on real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm wondering, I mean, is that like in between 10 and 20 seconds where they're like, yeah, okay, if the condom broke, that'd be cool. Well, I think if you get to the point of marry, then you, you're probably cool with the condom breaking. Uh, well, you see. It's a sliding scale. You could either get like, eh, Mary, eh, crazy. You know, it's yeah. like a, it's like a fucking teeter totter. How about is she? Yeah, that is serious. That really is. Yeah. Like, I mean, they know. In the I mean, because I because I can, I, can, I can marry you and get rid of you. Right. Yeah. But a baby, fuck. Yeah. There you go. Stuck with little Johnny for eighteen yeah. years. <laughs> yeah. But you know, but the thing is, they can decide all this shit, but still can't tell tell if a motherfucker ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think about that? Think about that, ladies. 
<laughs> Think about when you're doing all that quick deciding and you found out Jerome ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which you should have been able to tell within the first minute of the conversation. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> no, I always, I always love that excuse. Like I've, I've heard girls say, "Oh yeah, like he just had so much game when I met him." Bitch, you know that. You know it was, you knew it was a game when you fucking met him. I mean, it's one thing I will, I say this all the time, and the, it, I don't want to be disrespectful to people. But, yes, you do. Yeah, I do. But <laughs> I have the simple term: is he talks too much. Yeah. I, 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 if I describe a guy that, like, I'm so so on fucking with, pause, he talks too much. <laughs> I will tell you that straight out. Everybody, no, everybody knows this person. Every guy, girl, I don't give a fuck who it is. For chicks, I think Dane Cook had it right. It's normally like a Karen or like a fucking Stephanie. And for guys, it's normally like an Andy or like a fucking Tom or you know? Steve. So, or a Steve. Yeah. Mm. That generic motherfucker. That every time somebody's telling a story like, oh, yeah, this guy fucking said he had this brand new BMW for a couple weeks, but he wrecked it. You know goddamn well who they're talking about. Instantly, you're like, oh, it's fucking Steve. Yeah, fucking Steve. Fucking Steve. He, Steve Steve's Steve. never had a job besides fucking fast food or Walmart, and he's talking about this brand new M3 that he had for a week, but he wrecked it, so well, nobody ever saw it. Well, Steve, what the fuck are they pl- clapping for? Yeah, I don't know why you're applauding for Steve. You need a you need a new sound guy. Are you familiar with the soundboard, sir? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He's no. that guy. He's fucking Steve in this situation. You're the fucking Steve. He was he was applauding himself. He's like, yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah, I'm that's fucking me. Steve. That's me. I just make shit up. Yeah, dude. Lizzo's mom has one outfit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gonna take over the world one day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but but friends always let them borrow stuff. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Like, I mean, I've, I've known. I've, I've, we've all had a friend, a Steve. Spe- speaking of, you still haven't got your drill back yet, have you? No, I had to borrow another one. <laughs> <laughs> I have borrowed another, and, wait, and, and I have not taken it back. Wait, you didn't borrow your drill back? No, I borrowed another drill from my uncle, and I have not taken it back. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the charger? No. God, see? See, now you got to fucking take it back eventually. Now, now I'm not as good. I'm, I'm there not, you go. You're not as suave as I'm you not, sister, I'm not man. as good. I'm not as good thief as Michelle. Yeah, yeah. You're not a yeah. smooth criminal, sir. Yeah, say your name on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, 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 I Michelle. hope this help hurts you in your future employment endeavors. <laughs> <laughs> Stole my fucking yeah, drill, it's gonna Michelle. Be on a, it's going to be on a job application. Have you ever borrowed a tool and never brought it back? Good thing I don't know your address or phone number by heart because it's not the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> GPS, bitch. Yeah, 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 dude. Have you have you been able to fucking lock that in? I used to know fucking addresses by heart. I used to know phone numbers by heart. Dude, I used to fucking I, memorize where, like routes to go places because I didn't have GPS when I first started fucking driving. I, I had a two hundred paper route, and I could remember every apartment number. Right when they were added and dropped. Yep. No problem. Yep. Just no fucking, fucking problem. Now, nah. You ask me for seven digits. Yeah, yeah, you better put that <laughs> shit in the phone. Man, I'm putting that shit in my phone. Yeah. But, I mean, back in the day, you fucking remembered, like, you know, certain schedules. I am, I'm, you're so fucking lazy. Like, if you took me to your house one time, I remember how to get there. Now, shit, if I GPS over there, <laughs> I'm lucky if I get back. Right. <laughs> Dude, that's why, that's why I've never been a fan of fucking buses, taxis, or even Uber. Because I can't fucking tell you where I'm at. I don't even know anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I just have yeah, I no mean, fucking if you get idea. Lost, if you get lost, Uber driver, hey, fuck your life. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. It, no, it, see, that's my thing. If I call a fucking Uber, you better damn well know where I'm at. All right, I shouldn't have to tell you. Oh, I got a, I, I have a Uber actually Lyft problem yeah. because my house is behind a house, <laughs> and we use the same address. <laughs> right. And they always pull in front of the the other house, like which is around the corner. Yeah. And. It fucks me up because you see on your little thing that I am not in front of the house. Because <laughs> there's a little dot. I'm looking at the same goddamn map as you, and you see that I am around the corner. Right. And I will tell you like this, racist or not, it's usually the fucking foreigners. <laughs> I, no, let me, tell you, let me tell you something. And this is no diss on immigrants. It's just a customary thing. But, like, notice when you get an Uber or Lyft, if they're like an immigrant or something, they won't turn around and come to you on the street. Like no. if, they, if they pull up on the other side of the street, they're there. They expect you to walk they over do. there. They do. They fucking do. It's amazing. That's how it was in San Francisco when I was down there. They like you. You call for an Uber. They pull up across the fucking street, like half a block away or whatever, and they're and they call you. 
Oh, hey, I'm here. Yeah. They, and they look at you out the window, fucking wave at you. Yeah. I, I just noticed that, I just noticed that, you know, with, uh, with white guys, they don't do that <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, I mean, no, I mean, no you know what it is. You know what it is. It's people don't give a fuck about culture anymore. They don't. In the UK, there's uh, Muslim communities that they're just like, hey, fuck it. We're Muslim. You learn our language or get the fuck out. In the UK, they're yeah. like in London, there's like communities where if you're not fucking Muslim, you're not allowed. Who the fuck allows that shit to go on? I cannot roll up in the fucking neighborhood, and you know what type of neighborhood I'm talking about. I can't roll up in the fucking neighborhood and be like, oh, this is fucking white town now. <laughs> no, no, I fucking can't. Why? Why might you ask? Because I will get a band of brothers, not brothers, like in the military movies, like, like, a band of brothers coming up. Hey, <laughs> white boy, come on out here. <laughs> Let me show you what white town is. No. No, you can't do that shit. No, you can't. I mean, they would. They would beat your ass and and, and claim M O K. M O K. Speaking of, I've actually been wondering this: Was Rodney King at all related to Martin Luther no, King? No, no, no. no. no I, mean, I, I, I just they, they could have come from the same plantation. Yeah, that's true. That's kind of how that works. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the black guy said that this time. I remember. He, he I, remember got, I remember there was a teacher in high school, and he told me a story about. Oh, when I was in the Air Force, I met a guy, another guy named Lovejoy, but he was a black guy. And I was like, never met a black guy named Lovejoy. And then we <laughs> traced it down that he was on a plantation that my parent, that my great, great grandparents own. And, <laughs> and I was sitting there like, that's a good piece of history, but it don't sound that good to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I was your master. <laughs> did he, did he did he find out that you know Lovejoy played basketball on the plantation too? I guess so. I mean, yeah. they were they were in the Air Force or something. Jesus Christ! Yeah, they let that they let that other Lovejoy fly plane. Maybe they thought he was white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what you know what gets me too is you know Air Force, Navy, you know any military branch, right? You better they're they're tread, so tread lightly, right? They're all incredibly good at one aspect right you know air force navy blah 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 i think it kind of overlaps right oh no i'm talking like okay you because the army has planes right no no i'm (laughs) I'm talking navy seals yeah you know fucking paratroopers pararescue guys they're they're very good at one element of their job right the rangers yeah why the fuck do you have guys out there trying to play sports and compete for like nfl contracts and fucking nba contracts like all their colleges you're not fucking sports dudes, okay? You're not. Don't fucking put, like, these wannabe Navy SEALs never, out there on a basketball court. They underst- want to fucking kill people. I never understand how that works. Because, like, if you go to West Point, are you, like, in the military? I, I don't know. Hey, you should hit us up and let us know because at this point, we are ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> all, hey, all I'm saying is you're recruiting a bunch of fucking wannabe killers and assassins to fucking play sports. Just a sec. Hit us up at 442-999-HYPE, the hype podcast at gmail.com if you're old, decrepit, and like to use email. Or if you like to use Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the hype podcast. Or hit us up on Twitter at the hype podcast. We are on the gram, too, in case you didn't know. The Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so Fresh manages that. So if you want any pictures of, you know, his pretty face, all you got to do is let him know. He'll He'll post them for you. Shaq manages that. Yeah, <laughs> he really? really? He you're, let, you're letting the fucking sound guy do it. He's gonna be posting selfies of his fucking self. Yeah, he, he, he's he's my photographer, and he he gets a fair share of selfies in. <laughs> I never seen somebody take so many selfies with DSLR. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you look through the pictures. He's like, he's posed up. He got two bras next to him. Jesus fucking Christ! But hey, right now, here we go again on, on my own. own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't clap for that, you lonely yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, that is a really interesting question. Like, I don't know why they have, you know, like West Point fucking graduates. Are you in the military? Are you going for the NBA? No, what no, the fuck I, I you remember going for? Uh, with David Robinson, he had to wait for his commitment to get over so he could join the NBA. He got drafted, and then yeah. they, they had to wait like two years. Well, dude, and they have they have all sorts of shit. And like in in Annapolis, in Annapolis, they have like semi pro boxing. It's a military establishment. Like, what are you training these guys for? Like boxing, I can understand. You're fucking training them to dunk and fucking score a touchdown. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> hey, you, you can run into a situation. <laughs> 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 
Well, I I mean, when I, you're, you know, when you're in Iran, Iraq, Somalia, I mean, hey, you'd be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Let's put down our guns and just play hoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take that, ISIS. G- game, of, <laughs> game of horse for your life. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm raining threes on ISIS. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> But you know what got me going is I'm really excited about the new basketball league. What new basketball league? Ice Cube's three-on-three basketball league. Ice Cube? Yeah, like I, the rapper Ice Cube. Yeah, I know it doesn't make any fucking sense. Can he Ice even Cube. play basketball? He's not going to be in it. Oh, oh. Well, then, well, then I don't want to fucking watch it. Oh yeah, what are you saying? Today was a good day. He was like, yeah. there you go. Fucked around, we and got, got a, a triple double. Shaking <laughs> <laughs> fools every way, like MJ. I gotta there you say, go. Today was a good day. There you go. If he's not fucking playing, no, no, no. But he's coming with the heavy hitters. Who's he bringing? Your mama. My no, I, I'm mom. sorry. I'm <laughs> I was just saying, my, my mom has never been on a basketball court in her entire life. So check this out. Chauncey Billups, Allen Iverson, Kenyon Martin, Steven Jackson, uh, Jermaine O'Neal, Jason Williams. Dude, I fucking love Jason Williams, dude. What's his, what's his name? White Chocolate, baby. White Chocolate. If you have not seen Jason Williams play, you have not seen basketball. I, I'm sorry that you didn't get a championship, my friend. Cause you know you, who he reminds me of, though? Like me on the court? No, okay. white white man can't jump. A Woody Harrelson? <laughs> yeah. He reminds me of nah, that movie. But white chocolate's cooler than that. No, well, he's cooler, but like he's got all these moves, but he can't dunk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he can't dunk. <laughs> right. <laughs> like this guy, he the fucking behind the back, off the elbow, opposite direction, fucking pass to his like alley oop to his fucking teammate for a dunk, but he can't dunk. He can't dunk. Yeah, but he can pass the ball. Yeah, you can pass I mean, we were sitting, we were sitting here watching clips before the show, and yeah, I'm going to send you back out to the goddamn internet again. <laughs> Look for Jason Williams clips. <laughs> no, you know who I still want to see. I want to see if he has. I want to see Iverson go up against Jason Williams. Oh, that'll be good. How fucking cool would that be? But you know who they just added it was uh, Charles Oakley. Go fucking figure. Are you serious? Now I have to correct you because last week you said he was. They had lifted the ban. They didn't lift the ban until later in the week. You fucking want to be know maybe, it all. Maybe I'm psychic. You don't, yeah, fu- yeah, you don't yeah. fucking know me. But then he was like, it's not good enough because they didn't publicly apologize. They sit down with it. <laughs> they sit down with the fucking NBA commissioner. Right. The owner of the Knicks. And they got Michael Jordan on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> what does Michael Jordan have to do with anything? He's a black owner. He's Michael Jordan. I mean, shit. I okay. I mean, Michael, as long as that's Michael the Jordan could show up and teach my fucking history class. I don't give a fuck. I mean, no, I, no. As long as that's the fucking reason. Like, <laughs> if Trump's like, "Oh, we're we're reinvading fucking Pakistan," they're like, "Why?" He said, "Well, MJ's got a feeling." Yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> no, if, if if Trump wanted to pass off and give him an assist and throw it to Michael Jordan, like, <laughs> "Hey, you run this for a while." I don't think I'd have a problem. Nobody would have a fucking problem with I, that. I, nobody would have a problem with Michael Jordan being president. No. No. I wouldn't. Nobody would have a problem with Dwayne The Rock Johnson being president either. No. Just saying. Sigourney Weaver? Maybe. I don't, nah, nah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah. I bet she's too liberal. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, she's not that fine. I mean, they are. Hey, she's. I mean, she's a good Saturday night. I, I, well, yeah, that's she's, true. She's an awesome Saturday night. <laughs> As long as we're waking up at her house. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're gonna totally catch some 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 uh, 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 some raccoon pillow on that. I yeah, I'd be okay with that though, Sigourney Weaver. Honestly, yeah, I I would. Again, I, as I, long as it's her pillow, I, not mine. I, I knock it out, but I mean, I wouldn't want to be there in the morning. No, no, no I I'd be like, whoa, <laughs> aliens. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> don't don't you find it all a little too coincidental that like Charles Oakley has this massive altercation and all of a sudden like he's back on the basketball court. That is kind of awesome. I mean, hey, well played, sir. Well played. You got applause for his right there? Well played, sir. No, you want to you know who I, I want to see back in action, though? Who? Like a Clyde Drexler or a Terry Porter. Um, Terry Porter's coaching. Yeah. That doesn't mean he can't still play basketball. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I just want to see him play some basketball, see if he's any good. Yeah, but I think all oh, those guys are a little bit younger than Terry Porter and Clyde Drexler. Really? You think so? Yeah. What, how, how old's Clyde Drexler? Let's like 60? Like, yeah. At least late 50s. Oh, he's going to be one of the coaches. Oh, well, that'll work. Yeah. See, I don't know. I think I think Clyde Drexler kind of lost his mind a little bit. Well, like so? he, Yeah, like he went to Houston, and then he kind of just like fell off. He's like, he's to me. Ball, he won a championship. No, no. I mean, after his oh. career. Yeah. Oh, okay. like, like David Robinson and Tim Duncan. Like you just don't hear about him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like once they're off the court, it's just like, meh, all right, fine. Hey, I'm getting loot. 
fuck's showing up? <laughs> <laughs> like hey, that Iverson interview. Man, we talk about practice. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have you watched that shit on Netflix, Allen Iverson? Oh, that's that that that, that uh, uh, documentary is great. Yeah, dude. No, I I love that fucking scene where there's like 50 people that are like, you will never hear all of the audio tidbits because he's talking about his best friend getting shot, losing the championship the year before. And he looks at this reporter and goes, all that shit happened. And you're asking me about practice. And they just chopped it. Like, that's oh, all, that's all oh, they did. Yeah. They, like they give him that three seconds. Like y'all talk about practice. And there was even like a YouTube remix where they put a beat underneath it and started er, 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 you practice. Y'all, y'all, y'all talking about practice. Er, er, er. Yeah, it was well, fucking I, hilarious. I mean, the, the dude didn't really like practice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, in the prison yard, you don't get time to practice. You just got to go fucking ball, okay? Practice is no excuse. But I think he made it to. I think he's in the Hall of Fame now, dude. He should be. The guy's a fucking maniac. That's why I want to see him and fucking Jason Williams go at it, dude. It's gonna be so fucking great. We'll put a pause on that. So what's the, what's the scoop with this three on three? Are they traveling? It, it, is it gonna be uh, like it, and one? It starts in June, okay? But it can't be you. You wonder if it can be like and one because it seems like when you come up with something outside of the major sports, yeah, they like to shut that shit the fuck down. Uh, yeah, almost immediately. I mean, where was it? The XFL, XFL, like, USFL. Yeah, yeah, all sorts of. I mean, you know, you know, there's some dirty play in there. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> well, the and one I think was way cooler than the NBA. Yeah, like the Harlem Globetrotters League, whatever fucking league they're into, way cooler than the NBA. And they squashed that. Yeah, they did. I mean, mainstream, yeah, most definitely. Because if the NBA could have added a and one league, they really could. I mean, but they're. I mean, but you look at they got a fucking monopoly. They got the developmental league. Yeah. You come straight out of college into the NBA. Yeah. And if you have a vagina, they have the WNBA. (laughs) Either that, or they have the Charles Barkley League for the vaginas. I I don't think it's. and I will tell you straight up, I don't watch WNBA, be- not because I don't like women, because I do like Dunky. Yeah. And it's it's few and far between. It's like a fucking unicorn runs out onto the fucking basketball court with <laughs> one of them dunks. Dude, I don't, I, don't think, I don't think you should be able to step on the basketball court if you can't dunk. No, w- I women I, included. I, I don't would give t- a I shit. That would, would take a lot of guys out the game. Like who? Jason Williams. That's okay. Well, that's one guy. That's not <laughs> a lot of guys. Woody Harrelson doesn't count. He's fucking old. Who? Who else? Who else can't dunk? I don't know. Iverson can dunk. I've seen, I, I've seen him dunk. dunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Steph Curry can even dunk. Steph Come on, Curry, now. Steph Curry. Spud could Webb dunk. could dunk, dude. But Spud Webb was an anomaly. That dude was like five six and could dunk. <laughs> dude, that guy was a fucking maniac. You seen him stand next to Michael Jordan? Comes up to like his fucking belly button and shit. And uh, that dude had a long NBA career. Yeah, yeah, he, he really played did. at least eight nine years. Yeah, at least. Did you know, oh, who was it? I think it was like Matumbo way back when. Mm. Paid like 60 cows for his fucking wife. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's what, I don't know if it's fake news, but that's a thing. Like, How does that, y- you got to do the transfer rate to American money. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> What's the exchange on that? Like how many cows per dollar? <laughs> right. But, you know, we do have to um, pay homage. I mean, this is kind of a, a, a good old NBA episode because we haven't talked about the NBA for a while. And um, 10 years ago, the NBA invaded Las Vegas for All-Star Weekend. Wow. And the product of that was 400 arrests and a bouncer at a strip club got shot and paralyzed. Are you serious? <laughs> Please, please tell me it was like some fucking washed up NBA player that did it. No, it was a football player, uh, Pac-Man Jones. What the fuck? Yeah. He sh- <laughs> well, he didn't shoot the guy. He paid a guy to shoot the guy or something like that. Paid a guy to shoot a fucking bouncer. Yeah, I mean, well, his name is on the headline. So why in the f- dude? Really? You could have fucking shot somebody way cooler than a fucking club bouncer. Yeah, I, I don't get what this. Uh, I don't. Whoa. How am I getting phone calls? Am I that popular? Well, yeah, because normally we're done with the podcast at this point, but you were fucking late today. Oh, yeah, I was late. Is that a bill collector? Is that why you're not answering? No, because I'm doing a podcast. That's why I'm not answering. Oh, I was just checking. That makes it that much easier. Because uh, I don't answer when I have bill collectors. I don't I don't like answering when I got bill collectors, too. 
Anyway. Yeah. I would oh, pay yeah, and real quick. Hey, fuck you, bank. I got to the <laughs> fucking 15. <laughs> fuck. Anyway, I, it's just it was just it was just historic how much bullshit took place. Just 400 having, arrests. Yeah. Was it just like regular people getting arrested? You know, it, it turned And they it, blamed it on All-Star I mean, Weekend? It, like, what happened? Do we know? Just everybody went. Like, people who weren't even going to the game, it was just like... I, rem- <laughs> I remember that year, because it was like the biggest deal. Like, it's in Vegas. Hey, we're all going to the All-Star Game. Yeah. Motherfuckers didn't even have tickets or even close to have tickets. <laughs> You're just there. Man, it's like, fuck it. I'm not, not getting a hotel, not getting a fucking ticket to the All-Star Game. I mean, I'm but just we, going. When you think about it, like... Where else can you go and everybody's going to be so centralized? That's, that's I true. mean, everybody's going to be on the strip. So you're going to see all sorts of people in the, in town for the game. Fucking sportscasters walking I'm, down the street. I could have met Spike Lee. Yeah. <laughs> you know he ain't leaving New York. He's too lazy. Hey, uh, he's a big basketball fan. Well, he's gonna, dude, he's going to have a fucking the only front row seat with a wheelchair by the time he's fucking done watching the Oh, man, he play. looks like an old grandma now. He really does. <laughs> That's funny you mentioned just, that. Just he, his facial structure, he does look like a fucking grandma with yeah, a beard. Just, just, uh, just cheering him on. <laughs> I'm like, how do you have time to go to all these games and make movies? Right? <laughs> Is he still making movies? He still makes movies. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know, I think I, think I want to hire a fucking sportscaster one of these days to audition like the women that I date. Really? Yeah. It'd be fucking great. They can give me the stats, the fucking the highlights of their career so far. You know, like she's forty, she's a vet, she brings leadership to the locker room. She can spread the floor. She's got a fantastic low post game. She almost graduated from Portland <laughs> Community College. <laughs> Only but, two credits uh, shy. <laughs> <laughs> but was drafted to have children. Yeah. <laughs> No, I just think it. You know, they give you the fucking the important stats and I mean, the highlights it, of a fucking woman's career. She's coming. Know? She's coming off a. She's coming off quite a few one day contracts. <laughs> <laughs> she's been to multiple training camps around the country. A lot of auditions, but yeah. never. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no keepers. Yeah. yeah right. She yeah. just never became that franchise player. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> she just yet to find a system that worked for her. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think I think it'd be great. They give you the fucking stats and the highlights. None of the bullshit excuses because the cameras on them. You know what I mean? Like the ones when they're like, "Oh, well, I have a headache, so I can't give you a blowjob." No, that's not a fucking excuse. Like, "Oh, I can't have sex. I'm on my period." Yeah. And in the ultimate excuse, the ever so I'm the just, ever so just popular. Keep going with this. The <laughs> ever so popular. Who are you? And how'd you get in my house? I don't. I don't want to fucking hear about that. All right, I don't hear about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, this motherfucker just took me on a trip. <laughs> no, but God forbid. I've never. God, God I, forbid. God forbid. I've never. I've never gotten the headache excuse before. Really? Yeah, never. Well, you're a lucky man. I guess I'm just a lucky man. I, I no, guess I, will, I don't know. No, but I mean, what does the headache have to do with? <laughs> there, my you point me a exactly. Over, shit. There you go. It's gonna hurt either way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of us might as well be satisfied you about know, your head. Your head's not yeah. gonna ache any less. <laughs> yeah, right. You know. No, but God forbid a guy's sick or has to like fix his fucking car, do man shit that women don't do. What do women do when their fucking car breaks? Oh, they ask a guy to fucking fix it. That's what they do. So this sounds like it's. You were talking like in general before, even though it's kind of gross the whole period thing. But <laughs> you're talking in, in like a general sense. Be specific. Is this like something that's going on with you? I mean, no. sh- should we grab the couch? Yeah. Let's, let's <laughs> yeah. Pull up the fucking bench seat so yeah. I can lay down. Oh no, I was I was talking to my buddy, and uh, one of his female friends lives in Portland. Yeah. And uh, I was sick, and my fucking truck was broke. And this is two weeks apart, mind you. Two weeks. So Are we working on a country record here? Yeah. Yes, we are. Okay. Yeah. So When your th- dog dies, call me. <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> In three, two, one. We, oh. we got a hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. So she hits me up randomly and was like, oh, hey, we should go do this. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, my, my truck's broke right now. And she's talking like making plans like two weeks out. Wow. And I'm like, uh, okay. Like I don't know about I don't know about you, but I gotta be seeing somebody for a while, not just hanging out like seeing somebody. If you want to make plans with me two weeks out, that's a that's an investment. That's a fucking commitment. I mean, but maybe she's just a a planner, right? 
All I mean, wi- all women plan their fucking male roster. I know, but I, I, mean, I know exactly you, you what you know, mean. I mean, but do you, I mean, does she want to hang out anytime between the the, the, the exactly. target date? Exactly. I mean, if we're just meeting up on that target date, right? Fuck it. No, I mean, no big. But hey, you know. We're going to do whatever. We should go shopping and get whatever we need for that. Yeah, that gets kind of not good. Yeah. No, so. I mean, it's like. My, the, my thing is. Next thing you want a toothbrush at your house. Yeah. <laughs> my, my thing is, you hit me up randomly. I, I have no vehicle. You want me to fucking come pick you up? I have no vehicle until my vehicle's Why fixed. Why didn't she come pick you up? Exactly. No, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. Bear with yeah, me. That's where I'm going with I this. mean, I, I just want to give you a piece, basic piece of game. Do not <laughs> date women without cars. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. No, that's kind of where I'm going with this. Like, yeah. you hit me up on the random. My car happens to be in the shop. Then you make plans with me two weeks out. A lot can fucking happen in that two weeks. I happen to get sick. And all of a sudden, I'm blowing her off. Like, oh, well, yeah. You know, he's he's got this, and then two weeks later, this happened. Like, no, bitch, if you hit me up two days later, and I got something else, an ailment that I can't come see you, now I'm blowing you off. But was, when girls have a headache, oh, it's was, just a reason they can't fucking to make hang the oppor- out. I was trying to make the opportunity for you to blow me off. <laughs> 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 That's what I was trying to set up. No, you think I, I was going to miss? <laughs> you think I'm going to try and miss out on getting blown off? <laughs> right. <laughs> No, so tell me, what what are your rules for hanging out? When you first meet somebody, yeah. and you say you haven't even hung out with them yet, do I, you make plans two weeks out? No, nah, I think we keep it in the one week or few day range. That see, that's what I'm saying. I mean, two weeks out, that's that's, I don't know, my schedule could change. That exactly, some shit could happen. I could get the gout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long till say, they get to touch the remote? When do you let them pick the TV show? Oh, that's pretty deep. I know. We're getting that's, into some feelings. Here. That's that's pretty deep. They pick the TV show. I mean, even at their house. Right. Because, yeah. you know, it, it is. I mean, a real man walks into a woman's house and goes, <laughs> what's this <laughs> bullshit? <laughs> this fucking HGTV property brothers. Fuck this. Okay. So, so with that in mind. We'll just throw both of them out there. You tell me. No, you mean, tell me which ones first. No, no when I when I could I, when she can test the remote is when I trust her to turn it on to something good. <laughs> Fair enough. No, 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 no okay. I mean, we'll, we'll gauge we'll gauge this time frame, but with another question: When do they get to pick the restaurant? Oh, that's I I, I give I give up those rights pretty early. Okay, so because the restaurant's you, you, not as important as the remote. You know, I'm pretty same old same old. We'll be down at fucking fat days or muchos gracias <laughs> sure but but if they pick what what if it turns into salties or portland city grill or you know some shit like that oh um i might have to do some sneaker pimping right there like <laughs> oh, you chose this place <laughs> <laughs> this is yo dime this is yo you chose this place i'm not eating like this right <laughs> Is that is that the line you use? Like, I'm not eating like this, so you know what's up. I mean, if that's I mean, gonna be breaking out that purse. You're making a statement right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, that's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, going. I, I mean, because let's let's think about. It. There's a certain level of dining that shows how much. I mean, either how much you're balling or how much interest you have. Right. Even if you're balling, you're not going VIP unless. Right. You, that's you, true. Unless. Unless you want the rubber to break. <laughs> no, there's, no, there's and and I agree with you. There's on on both ends. Like there's you know traditional quaint places where you can bring somebody you're really interested in and not spend that much money. Yeah, there is something in between fine family dining at Cherry's and <laughs> right. and let's say in Portland, the Portland City Grill. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, but man, he said salty, dude. It's Sunday. What does that mean? They have the all you can eat, that fifty dollar all you can eat. What? Uh, oh, you didn't know about that? No, I did not know about that. Fifty bucks, all you can eat brunch. What the fuck? All the seafood you can fucking go. Is it like all day? It runs until like three. What the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> we don't have time to get there, dude. Motherfucker, we'll get there. I got a truck. We will fucking make it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll have to plan that out. Yeah, and, we will. And, well, and, and as a listener, why don't you join us? We'll have to bring the GoPro, too. That'd be fucking uh, awesome. Uh, that'd be <laughs> Just watch the mountains and mountains of shit pile up on our table. It'd be fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's good times. 
I took me mama. Well, uh, that I'm gonna have to wait till I can afford a fifty dollar brunch. A fifty dollar <laughs> brunch is pretty serious. <laughs> Hey, eat hey, a dick. Hey, I'm dropping 50. There's a handy included. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, it's shit. That's higher than the NBA score. Speaking of being handy, don't forget, check out National Painting Inc. Check out their Facebook page. Uh, quick, reliable, and efficient National Painting Inc. Check them out on Facebook. We'll be doing some promos for them for the next couple months. And any of your household needs, they are very handy. Professional, quick, and Oso's in love with them. So... If you have any questions about National Painting Inc., hit us up, 442-999-HYPE, or on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash The High Podcast. Hold on. Now, you say they are handy. Like, what kind of handy? Explain the kind of handy they are, because the handy I was talking about is a little bit different. <laughs> but <laughs> they, if you're a painting company and you offer happy endings, you should probably write that <laughs> on your card. <laughs> Let's just say they handle all your household remodeling needs. Okay. There you go. Uh, yeah, I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, good job on that drywall, but you're not done yet. <laughs> Bring a whole new meaning to sheetrock. Yeah, I mean, hey, this, it's a bitch when the overalls do something for you. <laughs> it's all about the butt cleavage. Yeah, that's true. Actually, have you ever seen a chick in, uh, in overalls, like a hot chick? Yeah. I lived through the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was all over the place. Dude, I've, it's not just Chance the Rapper. We were doing yeah. that before. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want no problem. No, I'm just saying, like, to me, I, I'm very torn on that aspect. Like, there's, I saw some old Pamela, Pamela Anderson pics. She oh, yeah. Had, well, the one, little well, overall going one on. One strap down. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, that's kind of like an oxymoron. Like a hot chick in overalls, there's no easy access to that. It's like but, the opposite of a fucking skirt. But the thing was, they used to wear bodysuits under them. Bodysuits? Yeah. It's kind of like a swimsuit, but it's cotton. So they wear this, like, form fitting. They used to wear a bodysuit. And it's shit. When you wear a bodysuit, it clips at the crotch. Ah, oh, you were okay. not getting pussy in the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the fucking leotards and shit? Yeah, it clips at the crotch. I mean, you'd slide wow. the overalls down. Well, just let me stop. <laughs> no, no, carry on. I want to hear about this. No, like, no, because they would wear that under. That's why the, I mean, because there was all the baggy clothes and stuff. Right. So when chicks would wear baggy clothes, like baggy jeans or baggy overalls, usually they wear like a bodysuit under it. So like if the overall flapped out, you didn't like see her over JJ just hanging out there. <laughs> Overalls have flaps? Well, in the, it'd be because they wore them loose back then. Okay. Because you didn't wear it. I mean, tight overalls look like shit. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's just one G- of the give me the Give me the science behind these. Oh, I still I still don't fully get what you're saying. Did it, did it like, button up in the crotch? Like it a buttoned up in onesie? the crotch. Yeah, like a little fucking onesie. It was like, looked like a, 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 a one-piece swimsuit. Really? Yeah. So we're not talking like the fucking, like the dude overalls where you like step in one leg at a time. No, I'm saying you, you over they the were, shoulders. They would wear that under their overalls. Uh-huh. I'm with you so far, but you have the overalls, right? Yeah, they would have the overalls on, but you would like, this chick has like a fucking swimsuit under, under her overalls. So when they, if the overalls fell off, you'd be like, oh, look at that. Dude, how are the fucking overalls gonna just fucking fall off, dude? They got two monsters. They, they were wearing them straps. loose. They were wearing them. No, you didn't put two straps on. What the fuck you mean? What kind of square were you? <laughs> you didn't do two. O- you didn't wear two overall straps. <laughs> you had to have the flap down to the front, like 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 DMX. Yeah, it was like it was like it was like when you're watching Star Trek and they okay. hit and like the ship gets hit and Captain Kirk's uniforms all fucked up, <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that where you wear one strap down. <laughs> It just kind of flops over. I love that you fucking <laughs> reference Star Trek when we're talking about fucking hot chicks wearing coveralls because it is Comic Con this weekend. So well done, sir. Yeah, I love how you just tied those in there. It was we, fucking we great. Really, we missed that one, didn't we? No, no, we didn't miss it. I just didn't go because I'm fucking broke right now. Uh, we need, we should have had a table, dude. Hey, what, hey. what are we? What are we gonna do? Reporting live from fucking Wizard World Comic Con? No, I'd be like here. We need a table and a sticker, bitch. <laughs> Do we even have stickers? We don't have stickers. Maybe uh, somebody should get on that. I don't Producer. know. There's, there's, there's three of us here. There, It's true, and only two of us are black. Yeah. Us. <laughs> 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 this motherfucker said us. <laughs> what the fuck else you got going on? Because oh, I, I, I might be getting the fuck out of here pretty Dude, soon. Dude, it's about that time. I got to go watch the fucking East versus West All-Star game tonight. That's going to fucking make me sad. 
Cause oh, when's the, when's the North versus South? Oh, <laughs> 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 Little John versus Drake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, but shout out to Drake for uh, dissing Kanye. Yeah, dude, uh, you know, Kanye West is seriously like the Tom Brady of rap to me, and not. I, I wouldn't disrespect Tom Brady like that. Oh no, no, no. Meaning like I just hate him. Like, like in that in that aspect, Tom Brady. Tom Brady's a good quarterback. I don't like him because he's not on my team. I told you that. I don't like Kanye West because he's a fucking idiot. He's a douche. Yeah. So shout out to Drake for shout keeping to, yourself uh, relevant. Yeah. Best you ever had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to back. So yeah, I think. Uh, dramatic M- pause. Mr. Sandman. Dr- dramatic pause. Are, are you familiar with the soundboard, <laughs> sir? <laughs> don't forget check us out on facebook facebook.com forward slash the hype podcast i am the host with no name i'm dj oh so fresh and you can also hit us up on instagram it's at the hype podcast or on twitter at the hype podcast but for right now tell them ladies it's time to go. we are kicking it with you every single sunday don't forget hit us up 442-999-hype or you know you can email us you want to do that shit yeah, use your AOL account, bitches. <laughs> yeah. On your Netscape browser. Oh, wow. Is that, <laughs> see, I think the geek level is too high there. <laughs> it's like that blue screen of death shit. And the Hype Podcast will have some custom t-shirts coming out in the next couple weeks. Stay tuned to hear the where, where's where abouts and how's abouts of the Hype Podcast This is where he tells the lies. At the end. I always tell the lies. We're going to do this and this and this. I got to lie before the post-Hype Podcast show with it's DJ Oso. <laughs> it's the hype podcast <laughs> after the show, and I like to I like to point this out that this I'm a gonna motherfucker always promises shit at the end of the fucking show. Right over, it's the time to go thing, and he, he, he he's looking like he wants to jump in, but this is a this is a solo <laughs> this is a solo podcast after the podcast. So I just want to tell you with with all the love in my heart, fuck your life. It's oh so fresh. We're out. It's the hype podcast. Bye, Felicia.